Hey guys and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to add a manager to your YouTube channel. Okay, if you guys are new to the channel, if you could give us a like and consider subscribing, that would be amazing. Okay, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is go onto YouTube where you'll be logged into your account and then we want to go to the top right hand corner, select your user avatar and then go to YouTube Studio. Okay, so once we're over on the YouTube studio, this is where you can now manage permissions. We're gonna go down to settings on the left-hand side. This is gonna bring up further menus for us. So we're gonna click on the word permissions. And here you'll be able to see that we are the owner of the channel for how to videos. Okay, so now we want to actually invite somebody else to be the manager of the channel. Okay, so owners can do absolutely everything, but managers, there's gonna be slightly different roles. So if we just click on the top right hand corner of invite and then insert their email address for their account. And here we can decide what type of access to give them. Okay, so there's different types here. We can see we've got manager, can view everything, manage permissions, go live and create and edit and even delete content. So they get quite a lot of access by doing this. Editors again can do certain amount of roles and responsibilities so they can view and do lives and they can edit content but they can't actually manage any permissions or they can't delete any content. So there's that little bit of control there as well. Okay, and then there's also another option for editor limited and a subtitle editor and then also a viewer so viewers can just literally view everything it does what it says on the tin they can't create and they can't edit or delete anything and then there is even another one a viewer limited so it's the same permissions as a viewer but they can't view revenue data so there's that taking away that little bit of control there so but in this example as we said we're going to be using manager so select manager and once you're happy with that, click on done. Okay, so what this will then actually do is it's gonna be sending an invitation to that email address to say, do you want, you have been added to this particular YouTube channel as a manager. They can choose to accept or actually decline that um, invitation. So we'll just click on save and then we'll see, and I'll show you what the email actually looks like that will be sent to the um, other person. Okay, what we will actually then come up against is that there be a verification to check that it's actually you doing this new permission task. So you just want to click on proceed and go through the instructions as you would normally for Google to be happy and satisfied that you are the actual owner to give out permission. So it's just giving that extra layer of security. Okay, so if we go back into settings and have a look at permissions, we can then see that the status has changed for pending acceptance. Okay, so here is an example of the email that's been sent to the person we wanted to add as our manager. So it will clearly say you've been invited to access this particular YouTube channel as a manager. And here you go, you've got the option to accept the invitation. So we'll just select the accept. And if we go back into our YouTube studio and just refresh that for a moment, and then go on to settings and go back to permissions. You'll be able to see now that because they've accepted, it no longer says pending invitation. They now literally just say manager and it shows us that that's their access they have on our YouTube channel. At this point, you can obviously change the access or you can even remove the access as well. And that's uh, pretty much it. So I really hope you found this video useful. If you could give us a like and subscribe, we would really appreciate it. And any comments, please feel free to leave them down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.